United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps. Scenes from the Fort Meade Pavilion and last year's Military Order of the World War's Massing of the Colors Memorial Day Observance. We'll have details on this year's program in just a moment, including the announcement of a very special guest speaker. Also this week it's Motorcycle Safety Month, local group hosts Veterans Fair, and some notes from MWR. But first we check in with Fort Meade's Asymmetric Warfare Group, which dedicated a new indoor firing range this week in honor of a fallen comrade. Lieutenant Colonel Sinise Limbaca reports. The Asymmetric Warfare Group hosted a dedication ceremony for the opening of their new indoor range on May 5th at Fort Meade, Maryland. The range was dedicated in honor of Master Sergeant Retired Robert Pittman, who was killed in Afghanistan in 2010 while serving with the AWG. So really, when I, when I think about him, I, I, I think about you know, the, the warrior, counselor, advisor uh, that the AWG stands for. That's really, really who he was. Today uh, is, a, is a celebration of his life, a celebration of the life of a hero. Uh, and for us, every time we, we walk through these doors here, to be able to remember you know, what, a, what a great guy he was uh, and what he did for our nation. Well, it's just uh, an incredibly proud, you know, proud day for our family and, you know, my wife and I. Is, you know, it's uh, a way that he can be memorialized and this building is absolutely beautiful. We've been waiting for the last couple of years for it to get finished and it really, everything that they have done for us and the dedications they have done for us has been immense and then this is just like unbelievable that he's got a actual building that we can uh, come to and you know, my great-grandchildren and, and everybody can, you know, see him at Arlington and they can also come to Fort Meade and they can witness, you know, some of the great deeds that he's done. From the Asymmetric Warfare Group Public Affairs Office, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Sinise Limbaca. In other news, May is designated as National Motorcycle Safety and Awareness Month. As you probably know, you must be certified to operate a motorcycle on a military installation. The Garrison Safety Office offers certification courses for basic riders, experienced riders, and sport bikes. Here's a quick rundown of the schedule. The next basic course is coming up May 20th and 21st. The basic course is also offered June 10th and 11th, July 15th and 16th, August 12th and 13th, September 16th and 17th, and October 8th and 9th. The Experienced Riders course takes one day and is being offered May 22nd, June 2nd, July 17th, August 14th, September 8th, and October 21st. The Military Sport Bike Riders course is scheduled for May 19th, June 9th, July 14th, August 11th, September 15th, and October 7th. The classes are held in the Smallwood Hall parking lot across from the parade field. For more information on how to sign up, contact the Garrison Safety Office. On a related note, the 902nd Motorcycle Mentorship Group is available to help with safety questions and training. If you're interested, contact William Connor at 301-677-6661. Elsewhere, if you're catching this weekend's edition before Saturday, May 10th, the Serving Together Project in Montgomery County is hosting a free veterans resource and volunteer fair. It's being held in the Spanish Ballroom in Glen Echo Park, Maryland. ServingTogether.org, with help from local government, businesses, and organizations, strives to provide a coordinated system of support for the 50,000 veterans living in Montgomery County. However, all veterans are welcome at this weekend's fair. Once again, it's from 10 to 3 at Glen Echo Park. In more veterans news, each year the Fort Meade chapter of the Military Order of the World War stages the massing of the colors. Baltimore Recruiting Battalion, Baltimore, Maryland. These are scenes from last year's event. This year the massing of the colors takes place on Sunday, May 18th at 2.30 in the pavilion. As always, the program features drill teams and honor guards from military, police, civil and patriotic organizations from all over Maryland. This year's Grand Marshal and keynote speaker is the recently appointed director of the National Security Agency and U.S. Cyber Command, Admiral Michael Rogers. Once again, the massing of the colors is May 18th at 2.30 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. And finally, this week, a note from MWR. The 2014 Fort George G. Meade Run Series continues on Saturday, May 17th at 8 a.m. at the Pavilion. The Patriot Pride Run features a 5K and 10K race and a one-mile walk. You can pre-register by going to www.ftmeadmwr.com. Com. And that's Mead Week this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.